Inch by inch, the Hanford Sites Plutonium Recycle Test Reactor, or PRTR, is slowly lifted from its home of more than 50 years. The delicate mission of removal now is as important to Hanford's legacy as its production mission during the 60s. Operating from 1960 to 1969 as part of President Eisenhower's Atoms for Peace initiative, the 100 megawatt experimental reactor's mission was to test alternative fuels for commercial power production. After the reactor sat idle for years in Hanford's 300 area, crews began the task of dismantling PRTR in the 80s. In 2005, the $2.4 billion River Corridor Closure Project began. Washington Closure Hanford, the 300 area lead contractor, started total demolition and remediation of Building 309's dome, as well as numerous support buildings. And the 300 area is critical to cleaning up this river corridor. Because of all the research labs and the fuel fabrication, the nature of the buildings and the proximity to the river, it's a it's a huge milestone to get the 300 area cleaned up and this is indicative of the work that we've done here getting this reactor out as we close in on finishing up the 300 area remediation and cleanup. The lift is one of the heaviest on the Hanford site weighing in at 1100 tons that's two million pounds. Washington Closure Hanford and subcontractor Barnhart Crane and Rigging designed a mobile lifting frame for the operation once picked from its housing 30 feet below ground, it traveled 100 feet down these specially rigged trusses and then offloaded onto a Goldhofer transport vehicle. It's very, very significant to get these very big projects, these very highly complex and hazardous uh, jobs done. So, uh, and like I said, these are one of a kind type projects. So it's very significant when you're able to do these things uh, safely and uh, efficiently. And, uh, you know, hats off to the workers who have made this happen. You know, Washington Closure and their subcontractors, uh, they've done a tremendous job of, of getting this work done safely. 